up? It's Amber and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and if you are new here You should definitely subscribe. So for today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I get ready on a daily basis for work as a waitress Obviously waitressing is kind of like a gross job Sometimes you are constantly running around you're sweating you are delivering food and drinks to people most of the time You are just like a sweaty mess, especially if it's a busy night and you're running around So it is sometimes really hard to find makeup that will last if you are a makeup lover and you feel more confident at work with a full face of makeup or at least with some makeup on it obviously takes a while to find products that will work for your work routine this is what I've found over the years has worked the best for me I've been using these products for years and years not just at this job that I'm at but at jobs in the past and I truly just find that they wear very nicely and that by the end of the night usually my face still looks pretty decent in the most important areas and I'm talking like at the end of 15 hours or some sort of crazy stuff like that. There's not a lot of makeup that can withstand that but I think this will do you good. If you guys want to see what products I use and how I get ready for my job as a waitress then just keep on watching. Mother I thought for today I would catch you guys up on where I've been. I haven't been uploading as much. I've been kind of weird on social media. I don't know, I'm just, I've been in a weird place lately and I figured I would catch you guys up on all that has been happening in my life. So I wrote some topics down here in my little notebook, which I also wanted to show you guys. This was a Christmas gift and I can't remember for the life of me if I filmed a what I got for Christmas. I don't think I did this year. I truly cannot remember because Basically the last half of 2018 is like a ginormous blur for me. I've pretty much blocked it out, but I did want to show you guys this adorable planner. I got this for Christmas and it's so special, but I don't really use it as a planner just because I'm so weird and I prefer like the spiral so that I can open it up. I take my planner with me everywhere. Like anyone who knows me knows that I have a little pocket planner and I have a big planner and I take them pretty much everywhere with me. If I don't have my stuff in my planner, my life will fall apart. This says 2019 planner save money, travel the world, and meet Ariana Grande. So this is just really funny because obviously I'm meeting Ariana Grande in a week. Oh my god, I can't even believe it. By the time you see this, um, that video might already be up. If you're watching this in the future, I don't know. Go check it out. Holy crap, I can't believe I'm meeting Ariana Grande. Anyway, so I have some topics written down inside of here that I want to talk to you guys about. All right, so let's dive right into the makeup. The first thing I always do when I'm getting ready for work is I use my simple micellar water and I put it on a cotton round and I just lather it all over my face. And I do this mostly just to get anything dirty out of my skin, like any oils, any dirt, anything that might be stuck in my skin from the night before. Because usually when I'm going to work, it's in the morning. So this is normally like how I start my day. And also I do this to keep my skin moisturized because this is so good for making my skin feel hydrated and amazing. And also let's talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> my sunburn. Yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm meeting Ariana Grande and I'm actually going to Florida to do so. And obviously the sun is much stronger in Florida. And I wanted to get a base coat before I went down into the hot Florida sun because I'd much rather burn up here than burn down there. I got a burn in the south one time that was so bad. I was ill from it. So never again. That is why I am extremely red. That's why I'm wearing this off the shoulder top just because my shoulders hurt. Okay, so I'm first gonna be priming my face with this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is the primer that Jeffree Star raved about in his full face of e.l.f. video. And this thing was sold out everywhere for so long and I finally got my hands on it. I have been using it quite a bit lately. I've especially been using it before work. I find that it has been amazing. It's been keeping my skin looking real nice. And I've also been having issues with my pores on my nose here. I I noticed that like makeup tends to cling in my pores around my nose so I've been trying to put this especially in that area and I have found it has been really great so far. First thing on my notes for where I have been is I got in a car accident. A lot of you guys follow me on Snapchat and have kept up with my car accident dilemmas this year. I've been in three car accidents this year. I am so embarrassed to say that out loud, but none of them were my fault. I got hit twice by another car and then this third accident, I hit a deer. So I guess it technically is my fault, but like 
the deer was in the middle of the highway and I could not slow down and it just was like awful. That really sucked. My car has been in the shop for like two weeks. I miss it so much. I just can't wait to get it back and be driving my car again. My dad is so nice to let me use his car every time mine's in the shop because my dad is a mechanic. So there's always an extra car laying around at my house. Thank God. Since I am a waitress, I sweat a lot at work, especially this time of year. It is so hot. It's like 10 degrees hotter in the kitchen at least than it is outside. I'm usually a dripping sweaty mess. So usually I don't even wear makeup to work in the summer. Normally I'll just do my eyebrows and maybe mascara and like some highlighter and that'll be the extent of it. But for the winter time or any other time of year, I like to put on a very sheer foundation. That way it's less likely to get cakey. The worst thing that's gonna happen is it's just gonna like kind of fade off throughout the day. But I would much rather that than have like a full coverage foundation be on and like be melting off my skin. Cause that's not a good look. This is the foundation that I've raved about for years and years on my channel. This is the Maybelline Fit Me stick foundation. So awesome. Especially because if you really feel inclined, you could bring this with you for touch-ups. Just a thought, but I'm too lazy for that. What I put on in the morning is what stays, and if it looks like by the end of the day, I don't care because I don't have to look at myself. My customers do. <laughs> but at the same time, I also want to look decent for work because I am depending on these customers to think I look cute and tip me. The way that I personally find is best to apply this foundation is to put it directly on my skin. I've tried so many different methods over the years of using this, and I just find that the best one is to just kind of rub it all over my skin where I feel like I need the most color. Coverage. This one is clearly a little light for me right now since I just got some color But I think it should be fine especially because when I put on bronzer and stuff It usually evens out and I find it best to blend it out with a brush I've tried it with a beauty blender and it's okay But I feel like with this foundation where it applies such a thin amount such a thin layer on your skin The sponge ends up taking most of it away and you get no coverage I just find that a brush kind of blends it out better it helps me keep the most product as possible on my face and I just buff it out in circular motions all over my face. Let's see what's next on the list of topics to discuss. The beauty community drama. There has been a lot going on on YouTube lately and I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos know exactly what I'm talking about, but there also are some people who watch my videos who have no idea what I'm talking about. I know some of you guys, like my family, just come on here for me and you don't know what's going on with other people and other YouTubers. There was quite a big scandal between a huge YouTuber named James Charles and another huge YouTuber named Tati Westbrook. And basically there was just a lot of exposing people for things they have done, a lot of twisting the truth, a lot of stories just being thrown out there. I don't know, it just, it really took over the internet. It took over social media. I don't really know anybody who's my age or anybody who's like into this kind of world like social media who doesn't know about it so i have heard a lot of opinions i don't really want to get too much into it because i don't want to be one of those people who just like talks about it in a video for views but honestly it has been driving me nuts that's all i'm gonna say like i've purposely avoided social media lately because it has just gotten way too toxic and i just want no part in it so if you guys have been wondering why i've been laying a little low that's also why and that leads me to my next topic which I wrote anxiety slash erasing negative energy. I've been having so much anxiety lately. And real quick, I'm just using my e.l.f. camo concealer for underneath my eyes and the high points of my face. Um, but I've been having some real issues with my anxiety lately. And for so long, I had a hold on it and like I was fine and I wasn't feeling depressed or down or anything like that. But I don't know, something hit me. Like I've just been feeling so, so stressed and like just worked up over the littlest things lately and I just have no idea why. And then I started to think that there are a lot of things in my life right now, a lot of people, a lot of habits, just a lot of negative stuff that I don't need. At the end of the day, you have to live your life for you and you have to live your life and do what makes you happy, not what makes the people around you happy. Sure, you have to keep your loved ones in mind and you obviously need to make sure you're checking on them. You need to make sure that what you're doing isn't harming them. But at the same time, if you want to go chase your dreams, you can't let other people get in the way of that. You can't just live your life for other people. You can't live it for your friends. You can't live it for your family. Like truly at the end of the day, you need to take care of yourself because they can take care of themselves. Does that make sense? But I have just realized I need to take care of myself and I need to make sure that I'm okay. So yeah, I don't even know where the hell that story was going. I 
truly don't. Now that my concealer is all applied, I am gonna be taking this Wet n Wild translucent powder. Sorry, my, I just realized the fan is reflecting on my mirror and that's probably so annoying. It would be annoying to me, so I'm gonna move that. This is another new product that I picked up that I've been really excited to be testing. Um, I've used it a couple times and I don't have any complaints. So I take a little bit of it with my sponge and I just plop that under my eyes and everywhere that I applied the concealer. So that is what I've been doing. I've been trying to really just take care of myself and think about everything that I'm doing with my life and think, is this benefiting me? Is this helping me grow? Can I live without this and be fine? Will I be better off without this? Making sacrifices. I've just been trying to really be more conscious of what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. I don't even think anything I'm saying makes sense. But I've also become more socially awkward. I hate it so much. Like I've just been so busy working. And when I say working, I mean obviously I do a lot of work on the internet, but also I do have a real job. I'm a waitress, as you guys know from the title of this video. And I've been working really hard on being better at money. I've been trying to save up more money. I've been trying to travel more. I've been trying to see friends more. But of course, like when you get in the hole of just like working and not seeing friends enough or not seeing people enough, you get a little antisocial. And that is how I've become. It has been so hard for my friends to reach me. Like people can only find me at work pretty much. <laughs> like if I'm not at work, it is so hard for people to find me. So that's that. Now I'm gonna be wiping away this bake off of my face. And I did my eyebrows this morning because I was out running some errands with Tundi Bear. It was so fun. I miss vlogging all of my adventures with Tundi, but I've just been trying to take a step back, as I said. But I will be back to vlogging, I promise. I just need to get into a good routine where I feel comfortable vlogging again. As we bronze up our face, let's see what's next. Actually, weirdly enough, I have next doing YouTube because I love it, not because I have to or not because it's for views. Hi, Angel. Oh, look who came to say hi. Come here. Mom, oh, she's gonna lay on the bed. So continuing on that subject, this whole drama, I guess, in the beauty community really made me realize that I love making videos. I love sitting here and talking to you guys, obviously, but like what goes on behind the camera is truly my favorite thing in the whole world. I love literally sitting in front of my computer for like 12 hours straight, like staying up all night long to edit a video that I love so much. And then just seeing the product at the end, like seeing how the video looks at the end and then seeing people watch it. Like when people send pictures of themselves watching my videos, oh my God, it literally makes my heart melt. That's why I do it. I do it because I wanna be that person for other people that I needed when I was in a low place. And that's when I turned to YouTube and I found certain YouTubers I loved and it helped me get through a lot. I learned a lot from YouTube. I've grown up with certain YouTubers They've taught me things. I've learned from their mistakes. I've been watching YouTube and I've been a part of YouTube for a long, long, long time. And a lot of people don't realize that. At the end of the day, I do YouTube because I love it. Not because I'm trying to chase clout, as a lot of these young kids are saying these days. Not because I want followers. Not because I think it's cool. Not because I think I'm going to be a millionaire someday. None of that even crosses my mind on a daily basis. It's simply, I get excited because I'm like, oh my God, what could I film today? Because I want to. If I'm ever sad, if I'm ever having difficulty getting out of bed today, it was a little tough to get out of bed. I was having a day. I was thinking to myself, you can film yourself getting ready for work and like catch up with your subscribers and your friends and it'll be so awesome. And that's what got me out of bed this morning. I got up, I ran my errands so that I could come home and film and talk to you guys. I've actually had so many people in the time that I've done YouTube reach out to me and tell me that your videos help me so much when I'm sad. Your videos are what helps me get through my bad days or like my friend Kelly even told me she used to watch my videos at the gym like it was what helped her get through her workout and I was like girl that is so nice that people fit my videos into their daily routine so thank you if you're one of those people you know who you are and even those who don't comment who I still see liking my stuff sharing my stuff I still see you and I love you so thank you so now that I put on probably way too much bronzer because I was sitting there talking for 10 years I'm just gonna contour my nose really quickly now that we are bronze to the gods and by the way I was using my L'Oreal True Match Powder in the color, not Poudre, Cappuccino. <laughs> One of my friends, Caitlin, sent me a Snapchat of her powder that she has and circled the Poudre and was like, I can't not laugh every time I see it. And also my friend Ryan and my friend Lulu never ever stop making fun of me for that. I am just the smartest person in the world. And I haven't been baking under my bronzer lately. I don't know, I've been liking the natural look of just putting a tiny little bit in the back of my cheekbone and just kinda going with it, you know? 
Also, I hope my neck is blended out all right. My neck is just like a different color than my face because I had a book, so the book was covering my neck, so only my face and my like lower chest got <laughs> color. A lot of you guys know I talk about my BFF Lulu all the time on my channel. She sent me a care package for Christmas and it was kind of revolving around this motto that this book has. Girl boss, like being a boss, just getting shit done, not letting anything stop you, seeing your goal and just going for it and like learning from all of your mistakes, not letting your mistakes define you and set you back. She sent me a whole care package with stuff like this that would motivate me. So I picked this up the other day and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna sit out in the sun, get some vitamin D and just relax. So I read this book and I'm already halfway done with it. I'm on page 95, I'm halfway done. This book is so amazing, you have to get it. Sophia Anaruzo, I think her name is. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, I'm so sorry. But she is the owner slash founder of Nasty Gal. It is just a very inspiring book. She talks about how she got to where she is today. She tells you very truthfully and honestly just what it takes to be successful, you know? So I've been loving that book, I've been reading that. It has truly changed my life. I have felt so much more motivated since reading that book and it's kind of reassuring me that everything's gonna be okay. Like I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing, and I need to just be confident in that and not let anything stop me. So I'm just gonna quickly touch up my eyebrows because they did get a little messed up from like wearing sunglasses and stuff. And you guys know me, I cannot talk or have a conversation while I'm doing my eyebrows. I hope those look good. I just cannot even deal with my eyebrows. I feel like they're just always in that awkward phase where they're not cooperating and I always say it and I use it as an excuse and you guys probably think I'm a liar, but they're always awkward. They're two different like, styles and I have to make them somewhat match. It's a challenge. We are nearing towards the end of this makeup routine. It has been pretty easy so far, right? And we look snatched. We look like we're about to go on a date, but really we're gonna go to work and make that money. Next, I'm gonna be applying some blush to my cheeks. I prefer to wear a cream blush when I'm going to work just because I feel like it is just better. It sticks on your face. I don't know, just creams I feel like hold better, especially when you're sweating. I love a good cream blush. And this is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I am so sorry. I have not bought a new one of these in so long because they last forever. Like the tiniest bit of product goes a long way. And it just gives me like some healthy color. And I like to put a little bit on my nose too. I love a little bit of a pink glow. So this brings us to the last topic of discussion in my planner, which is meeting Ariana Grande. I am gonna be meeting her a week from tomorrow. That is today as I'm filming this. Of course, by the time you see this, it might be close it might have already happened. I don't know. Check out my socials if you want to stay up to date with that. So I'm going on a little vacation and on my vacation I happen to be going to meet Ariana Grande and I'm so excited. Holy crap. Like if you guys know me in real life you're gonna be making fun of me so much when I upload that video because your girl is gonna be losing her shit. Another thing I like to do is put on some Blistex. This is the medicated Blistex. I've used this for years. I just like to keep my lips hydrated because I don't have time to be putting chapstick on my lips at work. Like some of my friends be putting chapstick on like every five seconds and I'm like, girl, how do you remember? How do you remember to do that, first of all? I'm gonna be putting some mascara on. I'm gonna be curling my lashes and putting on the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is the carbon black. I just like to curl my lashes for a real one and make them look all nice. Ugh, I don't want to go to work. Oh, I'm so excited. I leave for vacation in five short days. So freaking excited. I can't even believe it. I will be sure to be vlogging the whole week for you guys. I'm also meeting one of my best friends, Ryan. He is coming to the concert with me and I am so pumped. We are gonna legit scream and cry to Ariana Grande's songs together. And I just can't wait. As far as meeting Ariana, I try not to think about it too much. Like I think about it, but I try not to think about the actual moment of meeting her because it makes makes me want to hyperventilate just because it, it was so expensive, this whole meet and greet, and I just want the experience to go really well. I've met a handful of celebrities at meet and greets and I know how it goes. Like you literally have to take the picture and leave. It's just how it is. She can't sit there and have a conversation with every single person. And I'm not saying that like the money is worth that at all. I'm not saying that. I chose to spend this much money on it. Sorry, I'm having difficulty getting this freaking thing. But I do know that I need to make the most of it. I'm just trying to think of what I can say that like will 
will make her remember me, you know? Because obviously some people just go in there and like cry, which is fine. Like you gotta do what you gotta do. Some people are just really emotional like that. But I wanna actually say something to her. Like I wanna, I wanna have a meaningful conversation with her. So it's just a little stressful. So I try not to think about it and I just wanna be in the moment and just let whatever comes to my mind come out. I do, however, know what I wanna caption my picture. I know what I'm gonna ask her to do for the pose. So I'm pretty pumped. I just can't believe I'm gonna be sitting in the pit. I have dreamt of sitting front row at a concert. It has never happened to me. I have never been on the floor even at a concert. I've had good seats. Like obviously my seats to Sweetener Tour were great. And when I went to Dangerous Woman Tour, my seats were great, but I'm just very excited. I can't wait to vlog it for you guys. I'm gonna have like a weekly vlog of my whole trip. I'm going to have a Sweetener Tour vlog and I'm going to have a meet and greet experience video because I know that you guys loved my what's in my fanny pack video where I gave you information on what I brought and what the experience was like. So I definitely want to make another kind of like educational video for those of you who are still going to be attending the whole rest of the tour and you kind of want to know what to expect. So stay tuned for that. I'm so pumped to share my experience with you guys. I seriously can't wait. Your girl almost forgot highlighter. Like I was about to say we're done. I never forget a good highlight when I'm going to work because like I said, you got to make that money. So I'm going to be taking my James Charles palette, despite what all of you hate and hoes got to say, he made a good palette. Not saying I agree with James's actions, but like returning your palette. Come on. That's a little ridiculous. Like it works and it's a good palette. So your girl is keeping it despite all of the drama. Oh, I love this color. Can you see that highlight? I like to put a little bit on my nose. I love when my nose is highlighted. It just makes me feel so good. And I like to throw a little bit of highlight in my inner tear duct area. And voila, that is it for our makeup look. It is so easy. And then I always make sure to spray my face with some setting spray to lock everything into place. And this is one of my favorite setting sprays of all time from the drugstore. This is the NYX Matte Finish Spray. It is honestly so good. I think it's like $10, but I have a feeling it's under $10, I forget. But it is so good. And I like to spray my face real good right before I leave. And I usually use this palette to air it out because this is usually very easily accessible. And that is it for my everyday makeup as a waitress. This is how I get ready for work almost every time I go. Sometimes I switch up things like my concealer or my setting powder or I don't always wear the cream blush. Sometimes I put on a powder blush if I feel like it. But otherwise, I pretty much always do those same steps. So that was it for my video. I really hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed catching up with me. I have missed making videos so much. I know I've made a couple, but like I miss sitting down here and uploading several videos in a week and just being really engaged and active with you guys so yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you want to see next let me know if you're excited for all of these videos I've been talking about I'm so excited for vacation I'm so excited to document it for you guys even more I will see you guys in my next video bye